The best way to understand non-locality is to understand that in both physics and in consciousness, there is a connection that exists amongst all things, from photons to people to awareness, that isn't limited by space and time per se, that are woven within each other. Dr. Emoto, the Japanese scientist, began to experiment with water and people putting their intent on the water. And he did photography that would show these different crystalline structures. If it was a very negative emotion, the crystals would be all dissonant. But when it was highly ordered conscious or love, the structures were these beautiful ordered structures that he would photograph. And this was repeated by other scientists. Water has a crystalline component, but it's also tied into, like all matter in space and time in the universe, to this consciousness force field. If you enter into just a, a quiet state of consciousness and intend something very positive, it literally altered the structure of the water itself. Non-locality is au courant with modern physics. Uh, Schrodinger talked about non-locality and entanglement in the 1920s, but it really wasn't until 1970 that Friedman and Clauser at Berkeley discovered that uh, photons born together like identical twins can move off into the distance from one another and you grab one twin and you change the polarization of the other, even though they're very, very far apart. And the lingo describing this in modern physics is we would say they're entangled with one another.